Hello YouTube, it is your boy B3, back with yet another kicking graphic novel review. Recently reread this one in order to review for you guys. It is Champions Volume 1, Change the World. A really excellent book. Uh, um, this is one of my favorite teams that Marvel's ever had. I just really love it. It's a team of like young teenage superheroes. And it's really cool. I'll give you a read of the back of the book here. The world still needs heroes, and these six think they can change the world. After the fallout of Civil War II, Miss Marvel, Nova, and Spider-Man quit the Avengers and strike out on their own. Along with Viv Vision and the totally awesome Hulk, these young heroes are determined to change the world their own way. And they're only the beginning. It starts an idea. It becomes an ideal. But what happens when it turns into a movement? One so big that even the Hulk can't stop it. Or one of the greatest X-Men of all forge a new future by their side? And will the unbelievable Gwynpool be friend or foe? It's a super team book for a new generation. Collecting Champions 2016 1 through 5 by Mark Wade, Humberto Romanos, Victor Olzaba, and Edgar Delago. First up, I just want to say... Ramos's art in this book is so good. I've always been a big Ramos fan. And one thing I have to say about his art that makes it perfect for this book is he's really good at drawing, like, adolescent characters. Lots of comic artists cannot do it. They'll draw the male adolescent characters, like, really buff, and it's like, they wouldn't have bodies like that. Not even close. And they always draw the females as being a little too curvy, you know what I mean? Like, in some places, like the chest. And it's like, what? they're underage. Why are you drawing them like that? That's so weird. But uh, yeah, lots of artists just can't get that adolescent look down. But Ramos does it. Ramos f figured it out. You know, he's got it going on. He's really got it going on. And Mark Waid's writing is just incredible in this book. So uh, the three X Avengers, Spider-Man, Miss Marvel, and Nova, uh, get recruit the Hulk and Viv Vision to join their team and then when they're on like and then they stop a villain called Pagliacci and start kind of a social media movement and they're they're kind of trying to go back to the way heroes used to be where it was all about ideals and not about like <laughs> other junk like what Civil War 2 was about and not about preemptive justice and they don't want to be like the adult heroes who don't really seem to help people as much who just kind of defeat supervillains but aren't really helping people and the stories in this are smaller it's not like a big story where they fight like a supervillain who's trying to destroy the whole world they just do kind of little things that are nice to see you know uh like they stop a mine shaft from imploding they stop a uh, human trafficking pagliacci opera clown dude they go on a camping trip where they meet cyclops uh, which is the time-displaced Cyclops, so it's like the younger Cyclops. And they let him join the team. And I think he really works with the team dynamic, too. They have a great dynamic. And then they kind of, like, help a uh, feminist movement in an oppressive Middle Eastern country. And then there's, like, a American sheriff who's, like, helping people in his town commit hate crimes and not prosecuting people who commit hate crimes. And he's like enabling hate crimes. It's like a shot every time I say hate crimes. Uh, they fight him. They fight some Atlanteans. But yeah, the sheriff one was cool because Gwynpool uh, tried to join their team and obviously she's too violent for them. She's not what they're looking for. And Spider-Man hates her. It would have been nice. If Spider-Man wasn't really in that story, probably because he hates her. They probably intentionally left Spider-Man out of that story because of how they clashed in her book. I read her whole run. It's so good. You should read Gwynpool if you haven't. It's the best book nobody read. Uh, it was really good. Um, and, you know, she thinks that Hydra or someone is behind everything. And the champions are like, a supervillain doesn't have to be behind everything evil. And Gwynpool's like, yes, they do. Because, you know, she's from, quote unquote, our dimension. And she's like, every time someone something bad happens in comics, a supervillain's behind it. You're all comic book characters, so a supervillain must be behind it. And a supervillain's not behind it, but she never gets convinced of that. It's just so good. It's such a nice, modern book. It's great for uh, adolescent readers, for sure, but it's also great for adult readers. It's, it's truly great for everybody. It's a great book 
for, for just anyone who wants to read it. I love Champions, Volume 1, Change the World. It is fantastic, and you absolutely have to read it. So that's it. Thank you all very much for the support. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out all the cool links in the description below. Facebook, Twitter, etc. My next graphic novel review will probably be the last Spider-Geddon book. I never got around to doing the last Spider-Geddon book, so I started reading it again today, and I'll, I'll, I'll get my review notes ready and have that out for you soon. So that's it. Thank you all once again, and I'll see you all next time.